On the deserted grassland, poor Emma was surrounded by six scumbags. Looking at the beauty before them, the six men were eager to do something. The leader decided the order by flipping a coin. The lucky second man gained the privilege to act first. Impatiently, he pushed Emma aside, handcuffing her against the railing. Then he took out a small knife and cut Emma's clothes open. At that moment, the previously injured FBI agent took advantage of everyone's attention to the second man and secretly started the car and escaped. The group immediately opened fire, but not a single bullet touched the car. Seeing the vehicle break through the encirclement, everyone quickly pursued. The leader grabbed a sniper rifle and ran to a vantage point. Now is the perfect time to escape. Emma immediately stretched her long leg, hooking and retrieving the waistband dropped by the second man. And fortunately, the key was inside. She quickly unlocked the handcuffs, then picked up the drop dagger and ran in the opposite direction. The others lost their track and failed to catch up to the police car. They had no choice but to give up, but the leader was still the leader, and at that moment, he had his sights on the FBI agent. When the others returned, they couldn't find Emma. The second man was furious, stomping his feet. Meanwhile, she had already returned to the car, hiding with her backpack. If the car hadn't broken down, how could she have encountered such a situation? Emma calmed herself down, put on the necessary equipment, and got up to leave. She knew that these scumbags wouldn't let her go, so she deliberately created tracks in three different directions. Although the sixth man was just hacking along, his sense of smell was unusually sharp. He faintly caught a sin on Emma, a sin of an electric bike. Thus, he quickly led the others in pursuit, following the smell. The words of the sixth man enraged the leader. He gave the order, and everyone took their radios and started to pursue separately. Not long after, the second man and the fourth man discovered Emma drinking water. The second man was ecstatic, and he asked the fourth man for 30 seconds, while he quietly snuck up behind Emma. By the time she noticed, the second man had pounced on her. He pointed his gun at Emma's head, with a lewd expression on his face. <laughs> Upon hearing those words, the second man burst into arrogant laughter, just as he was about to harass Emma. The second man fell dead with blood splattering around. The thugs were unaware that Emma's father, who had served in a special forces unit, taught his daughter everything he knew. But Emma naturally loved peace and detested killing. If it weren't for this unexpected turn of events, she might have never stained her hands with blood. Now, she decided to put away her fragile side and completely transformed into a goddess of revenge and determined to make these scumbags pay a painful price. Emma picked up the second man's pistol and ran off and continued to run forward. As the second man failed to return, the fourth man came looking, seeing the disavowed body on the ground. He couldn't help but wretch. Well, do it. <laughs> Emma heard the conversation among the scumbags and immediately hid. Soon, the fourth man caught up, but found that Emma's footprints had disappeared. Suddenly, a massive boulder fell from above, and Emma completed a double kill. At this moment, the remaining four men also caught up. The leader spotted Emma through his 8x scope, and immediately opened fire. But Emma dodged her shots with a teleportation-like movement. The leader ordered the others to continue the pursuit, while they provided cover from above. As the thugs closed in, Emma quickly escaped into the house. The group planned to surround her from three sides. The fifth man entered the house first, but Emma, hidden in the darkness, instantly killed him. As for the sixth man, A, sitting against the wall, was slacking off because of stomach ache. Under pressure from the leader, he reluctantly joined the action. Being timid and cowardly, he was immediately subdued by Emma. <laughs> Seeing his pathetic appearance, Emma decided to spare him. Little did she know that this guy was a snitch. After running a few steps, he betrayed Emma, and a flying knife struck him in the waist. Emma achieved a quadruple kill. At this point, she completely exposed her position. The third man smirked maliciously, quietly sneaking behind Emma and pouncing on her. The two engaged in a fierce hand-to-hand -hand combat, but the third man was beaten to the ground. In the end, he had to pull out a pistol and knock Emma down. However, he still refused to accept defeat, insisting on having a rematch. The two immediately engaged in a life-and-death struggle. With that, Emma achieved a quintuple kill. Just as Emma stepped out of the house, 
she discovered that the leader was waiting for her. Armed with a sniper rifle, unexpectedly, he was as confident as the third man, preparing to have a pistol duel with Anna. But he was clearly overconfident with the gunshots, the leader deed with tears in his eyes. Meanwhile, Emma only sustained a minor shoulder injury. In this way, Emma's incredible moves wiped out the thugs. In the end of the story, she dragged her injured body, limping back to her father's side. The father and daughter embraced tightly, tears welling up in their eyes. At that moment, she finally understood her father's good intentions. We don't advocate solving problems through violence, but we must have the ability to protect ourselves. Because this world is far from being as innocent as you imagine. Alright, this episode of the video is over. See you in the next episode.